Hey YouTube, it's Epim Edition 34. I've got a, um, a Gigabyze variant for you to consider. It's got some new angles. Um, this is more casual, I guess, but you could certainly take a local with this. Three copies of Gigaplant, of course. Two copies of Lone Fire to go with that. One copy of Titanial, she's still your biggest plant beat stick. Two copies of Dandelion, quite a popular card this format. Two copies of Naturia Cherries. Pretty much any time they die, you go get two more. Um, they do come in face down, which is kind of interesting, but um, still a really good card and a nice one-star tuner. We also run two copies of Cherry and Mado, just so that we have a, a two-star tuner, and also it recruits the other one. Um, we don't really need three uh, for this build, but two is useful. Spore, another nice searchable one-star tuner. Good one to reuse and change its level. One copy of Lord Poison. Great utility card. We're also running two copies of Blazewing Butterfly. Um, remember that Gigaplant can go get this out of the grave, and this thing can bring back Gigaplant with its effect. So these two really like to play together, basically. One copy of Sangian searches up Lone Fire and other such things. Can also get your tuners. We're also running two copies of Caius the Shadow Monarch. We have a lot of ways to fuel tributes, and this guy's one of the best tribute monsters. Um, obviously, Gigaplant's a good tribute target for you. But Caius does heavy duty for you. Monster Born should be obvious for this build. Dark Hole. Giant Trunade. Um, we don't run Cold Wave because we're too reliant on our spells and traps, really. Two MSTs, which we're running instead. Three copies of Supervise. Obviously, this is a Gigavise deck, so we need some equipped spells for a power tool to go search for. Supervise is an amazing card for you, it really lets you create a lot of card advantage very quickly. Um, and it's obviously usually your target with uh, Power Tool Dragon. Three copies of Mark of the Rose, which is your other equipped spell. Very good. It's basically Snatch Deal for you. Um, and for those of you who don't know how Gigavise works, um, basically you have Gigaplant on the field, you play Supervise, you use Gigaplant's effect to go get yourself a one-star tuner, basically Naturia Cherries in this deck most likely, either that or Spore. You sync the two of them together to make Power Tool. Supervise goes to the grave. Its effect activates. You go get Gigaplant back out of your grave. You use Power Tool's effect. Search your deck for two copies of Supervise usually and one copy of Mark of the Rose. If your opponent chooses a Supervise, you get to Supervise your Gigaplant again. Go get your one-star tuner again. Make another Power Tool, etc., etc. Um, that's basically the concept is to fill up the field. and In the end, you end up with a Mark of the Rose so you can steal a big monster from your opponent. Future Fusion. This basically ditches... Uh, two Geminis because you have an often forgotten fusion in your deck. Super Alloy Beast Raptinus, he's a fusion of any two Geminis. Um, so basically you use that to ditch two Geminis into your grave, which is usually a Giga Plant, and a Blazewing. Which can be useful because you can also use Dragon's Mirror, we're running one copy of that. Um, Super Alloy Beast Raptinus, basically what he does is all Geminis are always active all the time as soon as they hit the field. Um, which allows you to do some really, really silly combos and whatnot. Um, so, useful to have one copy. More than that, they'd jam up in your hand too early. But one is good. Book of Moon, times two. Good way to defend yourself. We're also running Call. We just love getting things out of the grave in this deck, so it's a nice card. Solemn Judgment, a good way to make sure that when you go off, it sticks rather than your opponent stops it with something. Good way to protect yourself against those Solemn Warnings and whatnot. Two copies of Karma Cut. Um, every now and then you are going to need to discard out of your hand, and this is a great way to answer a lot of the threats in the meta right now. Um, it doesn't destroy anything, and it even gets stuff out of the grave. I mean, it's very useful all the way around. So, good card. And last, we're running two copies of Seven Tools of the Bandit. Um, basically because Bottomless Trap Hole and Solemn Warning are really bad cards for you to see on the other side of the field. Um, so this is your insurance policy. Once again, helps make sure that you go off. And your extra deck, which is quite interesting, is one copy of Stardust Dragon, one copy of Scrap Dragon, one copy of Infernity Doom Dragon, one copy of Colossal Fighter, Black Rose Dragon, remember you can use its second effect in this deck, three copies of Power Tool Dragon. Um, you can uh, drop one of the Power Tools if you want, usually you only need the two, but you can certainly go through three and still keep going if you have the supervisors. Um, so it's just a matter of taste. If you don't run the third power tool, I recommend you run an Armory Arm. I didn't quite have the room for Armory Arm, but you might want to sink away a Sangian, so or a Dandelion, so it's a, it's a viable choice. Goya Guardian, Brianek, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, 
Magical Android, Ally of Justice Cataster, Formula Synchron, because you can sync your cherry with uh, one of your dandy tokens or some such thing, so he is good. Just drawing that extra card is awesome. And two copies of Super Alloy Beast Raptinus. Um, who, I mean, he can even function as a decent beat stick. I mean, he is 2200. It's not fantastic, but it works. Um, basically, his effect is why he's in here that, and he's something for you to target with Future Fusion, obviously. Okay, so that's the deck. And until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and enjoy.